there and stall it, will you? Well, just point off. You might as well just deal with it now. Craig, get out there and keep talking. It won't be oh. right. I'm not facing your missus. Yes, you are. You're your boss. There's a direct order. Now get out. So, Rosie and I went shopping yesterday afternoon and I jumped on a train this morning and with any luck, Tim will be in his best bib and tucker and we shall be on our way. Oh, Mrs. Metcalf. Craig? Hello, Mrs. Metcalf. What are you doing here? Um, the conservatory. What's about my conservatory? No, no, not your conservatory. Well, he, he must mean mine. Coming on, isn't it? Yeah. You're building a conservatory. Well, it'll be more of an orangery. It's quite a bit larger than yours. What's that? Uh, not nothing. That has been going on for quite a while. It's like living next door to a firing range. No, uh, you mustn't go in there. What have you done? Oh, hi, Sal. Um, don't worry, it's worse than it looks. I mean, not as bad. Oh. Look at the state of my conservatory. Looks more of a pool house to me, though it smells like a saloon bar. Look, I'll get this lot shifted, I promise, OK? We haven't got time for that. Why haven't you got your suit on? Me suit? Yes. Would you at the patron's lunch in half an hour? I thought that was Monday. It's today. Didn't you get my message? Well, I listened to a message this morning and said that we had a posh dude to go to tomorrow, yeah? Well, that's because I left it yesterday, you dozy. Have you not got a clean shirt ironed? Look, I'll, I'll go and iron you on. You go and get ready. No, we haven't got time now. I'll have to go on my own. Oh, I'm sorry, look. Sorry? This is the highlight of my political career. Everyone who's anyone is going to be there. I spent a small fortune on this outfit. I really wanted us to make a splash. Oh, you will, love, you will. I'll get this lot tidied up whilst you're away, OK? Well, you better had. Do you know, I really, I just don't know what... <laughs> 